of the daily life. Uh, that's one thing. And then now with spring here, we've got sports practices and dance classes to contend with, leaving us to scramble for easy dinner ideas. And that is where the sheet pan comes in. Molly Gilbert, the author of Sheet Pan Suppers and Sheet Pan Sweets, is here with an easy dinner idea. We always love having you on because you really, truly, you're not kidding around. You actually make a whole dinner in one pan. Yes, I do. So what are we making today? So today we're making a roasted salmon with asparagus. Um, actually, in the book, it's a roasted Arctic char, but you can substitute pretty much any kind of fish. I like salmon. It's gorgeous. It's the same color as char. Uh, yep. Um, and yeah, we're, we're doing the whole thing on our sheet pan. Okay, so how do we get started? We get started with our fish on a sheet pan you can ask wherever you buy the fish to like skin it for you if you don't want the skin on there mm -hmm. this is all just nice un uh, no skin fillets okay um, and then we're just kind of arranging on the pan it's the beauty of the sheet pan we're gonna take some asparagus feel free to get in there if you would like to sure, I got you we're just gonna kind of surround all these fillets with so nice you, spring veggies. You don't um, put oil on anything before you put it in the sheet pan. No, you don't have to. Oh, okay. Because I would think that like you got to you know rub over these things in oil and whatnot. Do you put the, all the asparagus in here? Um, asparagus. You can't. You know, just kind of load it up. Okay. But uh, we're gonna add some red onion as well. Okay. And then I've got you know, some cherry tomatoes. I always wondered why they call it red onion and not purple onion when it's clearly purple. It is clearly purple. You have a point there. Um, um, let's see. The tomatoes can go on next. You can either leave them on the vine, which is kind of like pretty, or just kind of pull them off. I think it's fun just that you leave them on the vine, especially if, say, some people in your family like tomatoes, some don't. It's easier to pick out that That's way. That's so true. Just yeah. saying. So just kind of... Okay. You judge everything on there. And then okay. we are going to use a little bit of oil. I like to scatter a little bit of olive oil on top. Okay. Just kind of yeah, just like a little light, a light little dusting. A light dusting. Yeah, or just like a kind of drizzle. There we like go. That. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm not shy about the salt and pepper. No, I love salt. Yeah. Salt is good. Got to get that on there. Alrighty. Um, there's some pepper actually right there if you want to get that you on. Got you. And I'm gonna put on some fresh lemon slices. This makes it really pretty and colorful, and you get that fresh lemon flavor. Does it really add a lot of lemon flavor when you put the lemon slices it on there? It does because the lemon kind of steams in the oven, and it just it smells really good. And I think that adds to the whole. Oh, I love the it. Whole fresh kind of lemon. Now you, I've noticed you're not really putting it on the salmon. You can, but you don't have to. Okay. It's sort of it's. The nice thing about this meal is it's super flexible. You can't really mess it up. So you really can't mess this up. You just threw a bunch of stuff on a plate. That's exactly what we did. And okay. then, so this goes right into the oven at 350, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the thickness of your fish. Okay. Until the asparagus is nice and crisp tender. The tomatoes have kind of burst a little bit. That's dinner. That's the whole thing That's right there dinner, in the right sheet there. pan. And then um, to, on top, to kind of make it a little extra fancy, mm -hmm. we've got something called gremolata, which is, it sounds fancy, but it's just like a little sprinkle of something. So okay. I have some garlic here. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you would add just like a good handful of those chopped pistachios. Okay. Just a little. Yeah. Is that enough or a little more? Uh, it's to taste, but that looks great. I like pistachios. Go for it. I've got some uh, fresh parsley over here that I'm just going to chop kind of roughly. Okay. And then if you could grab one of those lemons. Yeah. And then add a little bit of lemon zest to that bowl as well. Ooh, I like just a little add of lemon zest here and there. Just a, It's not a lot of lemon, but I love, it makes everything taste so fresh and springy. I agree. And, and it's the time of year for that. Exactly. Plus with the asparagus, it's like all the things you're finding at the market right now. Yeah. What are we doing with this remoulade? Is that what it's called? Remoulade. Remoulade? <laughs> Gremolata. Gremolata. Yes. Okay, I got it. I got Sorry, it. Sorry, we got there. All right. So we just kind of judge that together. Okay. You can do this while it's cooking. And then when it's finished, which it looks like over here when it's done, yeah. it just gets a little a little sprinkling of that on top. Oh, on top when it's done. Yeah, when it's all done. Oh, okay. Okay. And do it while it's warm and the garlic will kind of soften a tiny bit. Nice. Um, and there we have dinner. That is so cool. All right, can yeah. I try this? Yeah, absolutely. Dig in. Let me get up on here and here. I like that the skin is removed. I really don't love the yeah, skin. Yeah, no skin, no bones. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so. And you know what? You get the um, asparagus with it too. Mm hmm. Well, that is really good flavor. Yeah, and so easy, so simple. So easy. And if you're not into fish, you could do. You yeah, could I was do this say. with like shrimp or something. You could even do like a chicken breast. You just sort of want to alter the time depending on. How I got thick or thin your protein is. Okay. With, with chicken, how long would that be? Because here's the thing my question is with chicken. Mm -hmm. 
because you can't leave the asparagus in too long or it'll get too yucky. Mm -hmm. So with chicken, what do you do? Do you put the chicken and the asparagus in together at the same time or do you add the asparagus later? You either buy the fatter asparagus okay. or you could add the chicken first and then when it's like halfway through, throw the asparagus on top, finish okay. cooking. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So make an idea of what you want. I love that thicker asparagus. That's genius. I actually really am not a huge, like fish is not my first choice for a protein. Yeah. But I would absolutely delight in that for dinner. I'm so glad. So I have a question for you because I'm looking at both of your sheet pans here, and this yeah. is what mine looks like at home. It's dark. It's had. It's it's been through some things. It's, it's seen, seen some, some stuff. things. Yeah. And then I'm looking at this brand new pretty one here from Crate and Barrel. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, are all sheet pans created equal, or do you you know want a lighter one, a darker one, a more expensive one, <clears throat> a heavier one? Yeah. You know. In my mind, depending on what you're using it for, in this scenario or for most of the recipes in this book, sheet pan suppers, all's fair. You know, so okay. you can go with this is mine from home. Actually, it's Ooh. on the cheaper end. You can see it's been very well loved, <laughs> um, and then this is uh, it has a nice nonstick coating on it, so that can sometimes make cleanup a little bit easier. All right. Although you could also line this with a little bit of tin foil or parchment paper, and that would help with the cleanup as well. So okay. either one will work. So I have a question, yeah. like my cast iron skillet, mm -hmm. my mom was always like, oh, it's got seasoning on it, it's got seasoning on yeah. it. Yeah. Is the, um, is the sheet pan the same? It's not the same material, but I would, you <laughs> know, I love that. Yeah, this is a seasoned sheet pan. I like that. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay. I like it a lot. No, I mean, it's fascinating. Yeah. Um, can almost any recipe be done like this? Many recipes can, especially when you're talking about like a simple protein and some vegetables. Okay. When we get into like pasta and rice, it gets a little trickier. Not that it can't be done. I've seen recipes and it can be done, but um, you know, for this application, pretty much anything goes. Pasta and rice. I yeah. can't even imagine doing that in the oven. But... I've seen a mac and cheese on a sheet pan. It, it can be done. It just takes a little more. Wow. Finesse. Yeah. All right. Before I let you go, what other great recipes can we find in here? So many. I love one of the popular ones is there's a um, baked chicken with peanut sauce and broccolini. That's a kind of family favorite. All the kids love that one. Mm -hmm. I love there's a sausage and peppers with onions. You can kind of, you know, throw that on a, a roll or a bun, make a sandwich. Um, you that can do burgers great. on a sheet pan even. Um, there's just the, the possibilities are endless. You had me at sausage, pepper, and <laughs> onions. That'll be what I am doing tonight. Um, well, thank you so much. Actually, y'all, she's sharing her sheet pan supper recipe with us. You can go to our website just, or just text the word recipe, just the word, to 206-448-4545. We'll send it to you like magic, like the magic of cooking one dinner on one sheet pan. Thank you. Thank you. Well, spring is